Hey guys, so I'm here with William. We are having a bit of a lazy day here, just sitting on the couch watching some Netflix. We're watching one of the How to Train Your Dragon episode things. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I thought that we would make a fun little video since it is lunchtime and we're both starting to get pretty hungry. So I figured you guys could come along and join William and I as we make some pizza. So while he is sitting here, I'm going to go out to the kitchen and get the oven preheated and show you guys all of our ingredients. All right, Keela, you keep an eye on him. Okay, so out here in the kitchen, just move this. We're going to turn our oven on 425 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's preheating. And I'm just going to grab our pizza sheet that is down here. Ugh. Oh my goodness. Oh boy, everything's falling. All right. <laughs> So, got that. So what we are going to be using is this stuff. This is called, I believe, Brooklyn bread, and it's like a flat bread. And ignore this, I have to have the carbs for the bread since I'm diabetic. But anyways, so we are going to be using this and I'm going to cut it in half and William and I are going to kind of split it. I'll probably eat most of it since he's just a little guy. I make either one of two pizzas. So the two types of pizzas I like to make is a traditional like tomato sauce, cheese and pepperoni, or my other favorite is pesto pizza. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this in half and I'm going to show you guys how I make one of each. So here's what we're going to need. For my pizzas, here is what I use. For a traditional, regular old, plain pizza, your preference of any kind of tomato sauce, I just use homemade, mozzarella cheese, whatever your preference, and any kind of meat, or if you just like a cheese pizza, but I'm gonna be adding pepperoni. For the pesto pizza, you're going to need some kind of pesto, mozzarella cheese, and Parmesan cheese. So here are all of our ingredients and I'm going to cut this in half and we're going to do one half pesto pizza, the other half traditional pizza. So I will cut this quick and then go grab William and he can help me make our pizza. All right, my little helper is all ready to go and I think he wants to start with the pesto pizza. So grab yourself a spoon and your pesto and we're just gonna make a nice layer covering the whole half of our pizza crust, which I cut very unevenly. Apparently I don't know how to make a straight line, but William's gonna help me and we're gonna put our pesto on. I always give the pesto a nice stirred, mix it all up in there. So now I'm going to take our spoon and we're just gonna spread it all around just like you would with regular pizza sauce. So something kind of like that. Good job, buddy. Okay, so now that we've got our pesto, what I do is I add a layer of Parmesan cheese before I add my mozzarella. Just like that. And finally, we'll add our mozzarella. And you guys will notice, I like a lot of cheese on my pizza. William takes after me because he likes lots of cheese too. Never have too much cheese, unless you're lactose intolerant, in which case, maybe go a little easier on the cheese. Just like that. Now we're gonna make our regular pizza. So of course, first thing we need is our tomato sauce. We've got our homemade sauce here. And we'll try to not make a mess. Spread it all around just like we did with the pesto. And next, of course, 
Rasa mozzarella. And finally, we have our pepperonis. So these are our two pizzas. And I'm trying to clean up my mess so the cheese doesn't all burn to the pan. So we've got our pesto pizza and our regular pizza and the oven is ready. So we're gonna pop these suckers in. Actually, before we put these in, my mom asked for a pesto pizza. So I am going to make her a whole one of these because that's a serving. So I'm just gonna grab my other crust and I guess I could just kind of time lapse me making another pizza. All right, now we are going to pop these suckas in the oven at 425 for eight to 10 minutes. I always start with eight minutes and then sometimes I put them under the boiler, so. In they go. All right. Let's check on our pizzas. Ooh. So I'm gonna stick them under the broiler so that the cheese can brown a little bit. It. And you can't really see in there, <laughs> but I'll check on them in a minute and they should be done. Ha ha ha, perfect. Woo, look at that. Gorgeous. And just like that, we have our pesto and our traditional pizza. I've got a little plate here, so I'm gonna give William the smaller pieces. And then he can eat as much as he wants. He's a pizza fan. There's his little plate, and I'll finish whatever he doesn't. I think I might make a salad too with this, maybe. I don't know. And pour him some of this. This is some of my favorite juice. Because it literally has, my camera would focus, one gram of sugar in eight fluid ounces, which is nothing. So let me pour him some juice. Okay guys, so we are going to eat our lunch here at the table. As you can see, William has already dug into his pizza and he loves it. I just wanted to make this fun little vlog for you guys, showing you how I make my favorite pizza and William's favorite pizza too. We hope you enjoyed. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. We love you all and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.